everybody i'm here today with a simple driving lesson on foot placement for the gas and brake pedals in this video i'll be going over the basics of where you should be placing your foot and how you should be placing your foot when you are using the gas and brake pedals now obviously i am demonstrating this with an automatic car but if you have a manual car you're going to have an additional pedal over here and the pedals will be spaced out a, a little bit differently but for the gas and the brake pedals it's going to be very very similar just your left foot is going to be incorporated into the clutch pedal so you you can probably use this lesson with a little bit of modification even if you have a manual car but if you have an automatic car this is exactly what you're going to be doing okay so as you can see i have my foot here now obviously you're going to be using your right foot for both the gas pedal and the brake pedal okay the gas pedal is this one over here sort of the longer one and the brake pedal is the one that is a little bit wider the gas makes the car move the brake makes the car stop very simple and straightforward but you probably already knew that but i figured i would say it anyways because you know just there's probably a lot of beginners that are watching this video all right so as you can see right here there are essentially two trains of thought for how you should be placing your foot one train of thought is that you keep your foot in one position and you operate both the gas and the brake like this so as you can see your heel is planted and that's going to be the same for both methods that i'm going to describe but in this one you're just pivoting your foot you're operating the gas pedal and you're operating the brake pedal just like that okay that's the first train of thought now the second train of thought in the second method is that your heel is planted once again but you alter your heel a bit so your your foot moves like this okay like that now i'm going to tell you myself personally what i have learned to use and this sort of happened automatically i didn't really choose to use this method but i personally use the method where my foot moves a little bit now you can see i'm not going like this okay we're not moving that much like my heel is alternating just a little bit from being more towards the gas to being more towards the brake. And the reason why I do this is because it gives me more control. If I'm like this, I'm sacrificing the control of the gas and the brake in order to keep my heel planted on the ground. And that's that's a good method. There's nothing wrong with that. But I would rather have that 5-10% more control and I cuz I don't mind moving my heel at all. And I'll tell you something. When your when your um when you're when when you've gotten used to this so when you've done this for many years you don't even think about it i had to actually practice and see what was happening before i even made this video because i didn't even i didn't even know what i was doing with my foot it just happens automatically okay now here's the thing if you have carpet and i do have carpet but it's underneath these winter mats right here okay because when i'm filming this it's probably I mean, when i release it it'll probably be much later but when i'm filming this as you can see it's like the middle of winter uh, i'll probably end up releasing it months later because of the way that i film in batches um however that's why i don't have these the the, the cloth mats under there but if you have cloth or carpeted mats then you're actually going to notice a little indent or a little wearing and tearing of the area where your heel usually goes. And interestingly enough, it's most likely going to be where your heel is for the gas pedal. Because you end up using the gas pedal much more than the brake pedal, okay? Most of the time, depending on where you're driving, you're going to end up hovering over the gas pedal much more than the brake. You still use the brake significantly, but you're going to be way more like this than you are like this. Now, with regards to foot placement, check this out. So if I was driving, okay, I would be pushing the gas pedal right now. I'm in a parking lot in park right now, so I'm not going anywhere, but I push the gas pedal, then I would go like this to brake. Actually, I would probably end up going like this. So you can see my foot, because of the way that my leg is, is always angled towards the right. It's a bit more angled towards the right right now, and a bit less angled towards the right. You can see it's towards the right a little bit, then towards the right a bit more. Also, interestingly enough, the gas pedal is set further back. You can see I'm pushing the gas, but my foot is hitting this brake pedal on the side. So the gas pedal is set further back, more recessed in this vehicle, but that's gonna be different for every vehicle. So essentially you wanna figure out which method works for you. Are you gonna to try to do this method, which is moving your heel slightly like that? And that's the method that I would recommend because that's sort of what I use. Or are you gonna do this method where you're kind of like this? And I will tell you, either one works fine, but this one, you're gonna get, I'd say five to 10% less control over the pedals in exchange for not having to move your heel. 
And in my opinion, you're going to get used to moving your heel and the placement anyways. So you might as well, either way you're going to get used to your heel moving or not moving, you might as well take advantage and get a little bit more control. It'll make you a better driver. It'll make you a safer driver. And that's it. That is it. Yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this video on sort of foot placement for the gas and the brake pedal and how to use your foot to operate those pedals. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.